and welcome everyone to my 2021 bookshelf tour. So yes, this is essentially just a run over of um, all the books that I have on my shelf um, in 2021. So I'll just give you guys a little, you know, facts about my bookshelves. These are the Billy bookshelves in white. I have a big one that's on the side here and a skinny one that's on this side. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of room because I don't have anywhere else in my room to put anymore. I'll figure it out when the time comes, but yes, I do have an extra shelf in here that I do not show. Um, that is a trigger warning approaching. That is because it is um, a Harry Potter shelf and I don't support what the author has said um, about the trans community in any way, shape or form. I don't want to promote that series on my channel. I don't want to openly show those books, so I'm just letting you guys know that there is another shelf. but due to my feelings on the author and what she has said about the trans community it won't be shown so yeah that's all the facts i have for you guys i uh organize my um shelves by author last name and then by um genre it's just the way i've done it it's the way i've always uh well it's actually not the way i've always done it i've tried many different systems but this seems to be the one that works for me i hope you guys enjoy this 2021 bookshelf tour okay so here is the second shelf i have in this bookshelf tour i do have another shelf next to that but i'm not going to show it i will explain in the intro um i should have explained it in the intro why i'm not going to show it but yeah so technically this is my second shelf um so i'll show you first the little knickknacks that i have so this is a pin banner um, as you can see i don't actually have any pins on it. i haven't gotten any pins yet um i will eventually though but it is actually from a woman um in queensland who makes like bookish stuff um and uh her store name is called craft of stars so i will leave it linked in the description bar below but yeah i love the design of it it's just kind of got all these it's pink and it's just got all these lovely little you know uh what are they called leaves <laughs> leaves on it i love it i think it's so pretty it just stays on this shelf just kind of stays up there and then i also have this teddy here um this was a graduation present from my mum um god when did i graduate high school again oh my gosh it's been six years since i graduated high school i haven't really thought about that Ugh, on my age um <laughs> yeah so i got this as a graduation present from my mom um and i just keep it here because as you can see these two books don't stay up so that helps keep that up as you can see this is a classic shelf so i'm not going to go through every single book i have here but i have this edition of jane eyre by charlotte bronte displayed I love it. So it's got like a lavender pink cover. And then it's also got these gorgeous ink sprayed edges. They don't look pink on cam. They don't look pink on camera. I don't know why, but yeah, but they are pink. I just thought I thought, just thought it was absolutely stunning and I knew I needed it. And then I also have this stunning edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I love it. It's so gorgeous. I have read that and I semi enjoyed it. I also have, I have to hold this up, but um, I also have this gorgeous edition of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I love it. I just think the cover is so gorgeous. I mean, the only annoying thing is the spine. It's red, so that's a little annoying, but the cover is absolutely stunning. And then I just also want to show you this edition I have of Grimm's Fairy Tales. I just think this is so cool. It's absolutely stunning. That's what the back. Hold this up because it doesn't stay up on its own. Um, but yeah, that's what the back looks like. I got it from my mum back in, I think it's 2019 I got it. Um, yeah, for Christmas one year. So I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, that is my classic shelf. I don't have too many classics because I'm not much of a classics reader. I occasionally read a classic here and there. The only one that I haven't read on this shelf is Jane Eyre. Um, I don't know if I'll read it. I probably will. But for now, I'm just happy with the stunning edition being on my bookshelf. Um, but yeah, I might get more classics in the future. I don't know. But we'll just see if this goes. I'm honestly happy with the way it is for now. Okay, so now I have what I like to call my unintentional Cassandra Clare shelf. So the reason that I call it that is because when I first got these bookshelves, I was trying to decide where to put the bookends that you can see that I have there. Um, and I was trying to decide which books would go well with them and and I had the Mortal Instruments by then only the Mortal Instruments not the Infernal Devices and it looked really good together and I was like okay may as well just make it a Cassandra Clare shelf so um yes as you can see I have 
these bookends they're little dogs they are so cute i got them from my mum for christmas last year so absolutely stunning i just think they are the cutest little things ever and i love them okay so as you can see i have the whole mortal instruments and all of the infernal devices i don't have any of the other sets yet um it's really hard to find the dark artifices in the sketch spines i'm hoping i can find them but we will see hopefully it will happen but yeah so i'm showing you city of glass because this is my favorite from the mortal instruments i love city of glass and this cover is absolutely stunning as well i'm also showing you the entirety of the infernal devices series because i can't pick a favorite i love them all basically equally yeah these covers are absolutely stunning i love them so much and the infernal devices has become one of my favorite series of all time so i just love them so much and if you haven't read the infernal devices definitely give it a try it's not like the mortal instruments i get why people wouldn't want to continue on if you have read the mortal instruments but please just give the infernal devices a try because you won't be disappointed okay so what we have next is kind of a bit of like a mixture shop as i like to call it at the moment um so yeah as you can see i have some uh cassandra clay books i'll just move this down a little bit just so that you guys can see okay so yeah as you can see i have some cassandra clay books there so i have the 10th anniversary edition of clockwork angel which i absolutely love it is so pretty and then next i have this uh rune edition of the lost book of the white um yeah i know that this is the second book um to the elders curses series but and i don't actually have the first one but that's okay i i knew that they were going to be mismatched when i got this so you know it's it's not that big of a deal to me really it is actually got it has actually got cassandra claire's stamp signature there so yeah but i knew that they were going to be mi uh, mismatched when i got it it's it's okay i don't mind and then i also have um an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of downworld um i also have this which is called um I'll just move it a bit forward yeah there we go um it's called a book seat so i got this for christmas last year um yeah you just kind of put your books on it <laughs> um and you know you just kind of put your books uh you just kind of put your books like there and then you just fold this um fold this down when you need to uh turn the page and you can adjust it depending on how big the book big or small the book is and you can kind of adjust it to uh, however you need, depending on how big or small the book is. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, yeah, and I love how it's pink as well. So, because pink being one of my favorite colors, I love it. Um, so, this is a book sleeve. So, it's made by Craft of Stars, which is a Queens, which is a woman in Queensland um, who actually hand sews um, kind of bookish items. So, she does book sleeves, book book jackets uh bookmarks etc i will leave her shop link down below she's amazing um but yeah this is a so this is just a book sleeve it's purple and it's got little bees on it it is the cutest thing this one is actually the large size and it is so good it just has little buttons that just kind of clip on here and yeah i love it i use it all the time it's such great quality it's got padding and i love it um and then yeah i just kind of have a book light that just kind of stays at the back there it just kind of chills there um it's kind of i do need to actually recharge it at the moment because it's kind of flickering a little bit but yeah and as you can also see i have this little pen holder full of bookmarks um so yeah i just essentially keep all my bookmarks and i also keep all uh like business cards that i get from like uh small businesses and stuff like that just kind of in here so when i do book um so when i do book hauls and stuff i know uh which like links to use down below and what the actual name of the store is and things like that because it can get a little confusing so i keep all those bookmarks there i have i'll show you guys some of my favorites so i have this book dragon one um it's from book book owl who is based in perth i love this i think it is the cutest little thing ever i also have this one um i used to care when men call me difficult i really did then i stopped this way is better it's a quote from daisy jones in the six i also have this um shadow hunters one here uh, yeah that is from bliss and joy creations which is also another australian store this one is also a favorite because it just makes me laugh because it's so true sleep is good but books are better also from bliss and joy creations yeah and of course i have to go with this one um my little sister actually made this for me 
um, so many years ago, but as you can see, I still, I still use it. It's still, you know, it's just laminated and she just coloured it in, but I love it. Yeah. Every time I use it in one of my books, I just think, you know, oh, my little sister made me this. So of course I had to give this one an honourable mention as well. Yeah, that's just this shelf. Um, like I said, it's a bit of a mixture at the moment, but once I do get more of Cassandra Clare's kind of other works, I will definitely have to move my bookmarks and the book seat somewhere else. I'm going to have to find a spot for them. Um, I think I know where I want to put them, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, so I'll have to figure that out when the time comes. But for now, I'm happy with the way it is. And yeah, that's all that I have to say for this shelf. Okay, so here we have um, is my fantasy shelf. So um, I organized by author last name. So these are kind of fantasies that I think are fantasy or what Goodreads is classified as fantasy. Um, that's generally how I organize my shelves. Um, but the first thing, um, I'll show you the little knickknacks that I have on here. I've got one and that's this Inej candle that I got for my birthday back in May from my friend. It's purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. So as you can see here, um, I've got Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo displayed because it is one of my favorite book series of all time. I love Six of Crows. Um, I'll just point out a couple more, I'll just point out a couple more favourites that I have. Um, so also, Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I love this book. Um, it was so good. Though, I haven't read this Poison Heart by their author yet. So, yeah, but I am definitely planning on it. Um, also, The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. And of course, The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins iconic series that's what my first fantasy shelf looks like sorry if you can't see it all in its entirety i'm filming this on my phone because i don't have a camera but yeah um that's what it looks like i actually really really like it um it's taken me a, a long time to kind of decide how i like this shelf but i like the way that i've displayed the hunger Games sideways i feel like it's kind of added a bit added a bit more to the shelf and i just really enjoy it okay so here is my next fantasy shelf so this one is the one across from the one that i just showed you guys um so as you can see here i have this nina candle also from the same store also from my best friend i absolutely love it um usually it wouldn't be there it would usually be on the shelf below but because my puppy sleeps in my room at night and he's getting bigger he can actually reach it so i've had to move it up to a space where he can't reach it obviously for his own safety so yeah that's why that's there um so I'll just show you a couple of favorites on here as you can see i have ace of shades by amanda foodie facing outwards even though it's a paperback and it kind of irritates me a little bit having a paperback facing out and see some of the pages it's not that bad like it's not it's not that bad like <laughs> i can learn to i can i can live with it it's fine but yeah i actually love ace of shades by amanda foodie i haven't read the rest of the series yet um the um second and third one um i just haven't gotten around to it yet but i loved ace of shades i think it's an incredibly underrated book and i think more people should read it anyway so i'll show you some of my favorites on the shelves we have legendborn by tracy dion which is an arthurian retelling and i really enjoyed that if you liked i i know it gets comparison a lot but if you like see your bones and are kind of into the dark academia vibes and this is definitely the one for you so serpent and dove by shelby mahern i really like serpent and dove i know it definitely has a lot of mixed reviews either people really like it or they really hate it I was one of those people that really liked it. I did read Blood and Honey um, like last month, but we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, so really love Serpent and Dove. Those are all the favorites that I have on this shelf. This is my second fantasy shelf. I actually like the way it is and I like having Ace of Shades displayed. I feel like the red really makes it just kind of pop and it looks really cool. Okay, so here we have another fantasy shelf slash sci-fi. There isn't a lot of sci-fi on here. It's mainly fantasy but there is a little bit of sci-fi so i um unfortunately i can't fit the entire shelf in frame i'll start from this end and work my way um so yeah like i like i have with the other shelves i will just point out some of my favorites sorcery of thorns by margaret rogerson i love this book i thought that it was so good 
I basically read it in two days. I got it when it came out. I thought that the cover was stunning and I absolutely loved it. And of course, I have to mention the An Ember and the Ashes series, which is one of my favorite series of all time. Like I mentioned, um, <laughs> like I mentioned constantly. So we have An Ember and the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, A Reaper at the Gates, and A Sky Beyond the Storm. So it's the first, second, third, and fourth book in the series. Um, these are the reprinted covers that they did, and I love them. I think that they're so gorgeous. It does bother me that A Sky Beyond the Storm doesn't match. That's just how it was printed. It was what I got when I pre-ordered the book so yeah it kind of does bother me that they're not the same height but there's nothing I can do about it now it's just how they decided to do it but I absolutely love this series I love these covers and I'm so happy to have them on my shelf and then I would have what I consider my pride and joy that yeah, these are the fairy loot editions of an ember in the ashes I knew that when fairy loot was saying that um they were doing that I had to have it first time I missed out unfortunately Second time that they were doing that re, um, what's it called? The restock that they were doing, um, a couple of months ago. I missed out again. I don't know how I missed out because I was online for like ages waiting, but unfortunately I did. And then, um, I saw a lady on Facebook Marketplace, um, on this Facebook group, uh, that said that she had them, um, and wasn't interested in keeping the series anymore so I was just kind of posting them to see if anyone would like them I reached out and said yeah of course you know like I love the series it's one of my favorites and I was lucky enough that um I was able to acquire them that way so I never thought I would have them in my possession but I do I love them so much they are honestly my pride and joys and it makes me so happy looking at them and every time I see them I'm just like oh my god I can't believe I have these on my bookshelves because I never thought that it was going to happen. They have sprayed edges, which I absolutely love. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, like I said, I just can't believe I actually have these on my shelf. Okay, and then I have Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, which is one of my favorite, also another one of my favorite book series. I actually enjoyed Strange the Dreamer more than Muse of Nightmares, even though I gave them a very similar rating. Um, yeah, I just like enjoyed Strange the Dreamer more. It's just how it worked out. So. Yeah, I love this series. If you haven't read it, please do. I know it's definitely not for everyone, and I understand the criticisms for this series, but I personally love it. And then moving over on my shelf, you can see I have a few sci-fis there. So I have, uh, yeah, Illuminae. I only have the first one. I was thinking about picking up the other two, but now that I'm thinking about it, I have no interest, really. I don't think I'll ever reread them. And then I have Cinder and Scarlet, the first two in the Lunar Chronicles. I don't have the other ones yet, but I do plan on picking them up in the future. So, yeah, that is... Sorry, I'm trying to get it all in frame as best as I can. Um, so, yeah, that is my fantasy slash sci-fi shelf. Um, it's definitely, of course, more fantasy than sci-fi. This is obviously my favorite shelf, one of my favorite shelves. Um, you can probably tell why. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love this shelf. Okay, so here is my other sci-fi slash mystery thriller shelf. Um, so as you can see, I have sci-fi up until Vengeful. And then Ninth House to Stalking Jack the Ripper is mystery thrillers. So I will, of course, like this shelf, just point out some of my favourites. Um, I got Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I, I, I apologise for this lighting. It's absolutely horrible. Um, the reflectiveness of this cover. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Anyway, yes, I actually really liked Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I haven't read the other two yet. It is so hard for some reason for me to find the second one in the series. I'm still trying to track it down, but I actually really enjoyed Renegades. I definitely think it's a bit more of a different story than what we're used to in regards to like sci-fis and stuff. So I really enjoyed it. And if you like a story about superheroes, then I would recommend Renegades. Um, also, I've got the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman. So that includes Scythe, Thunderhead and The Toll. This one is kind of like a sci-fi slash dystopian series, which I really enjoyed. Unfortunately, I felt like the toll was a bit of a disappointing ending, but that's okay. I still enjoyed the series as a whole, and if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I actually brought Scythe for my friend like last year for her birthday, and she still hasn't read it, and I keep telling her, you need to read Scythe, but I know that she'll get there eventually. But yeah, it's a really good actually like dystopian sci-fi series that I would highly recommend. Um, also Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I also really enjoyed this one. It's kind of another like superhero, anti-hero type story. 
Um, I suppose it depends on who you ask. Unfortunately, I didn't enjoy Vengeful as much. I gave that like a two stars. We didn't talk about that. Um, but yeah, so now moving on to my mystery thrillers. I've got Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which I really enjoyed. I enjoyed this more than I thought that I was going to enjoy it. Another series I haven't continued on with. It's a reoccurring thing. I'm terrible with continuing on with series, but I'm trying to get better at it. I will continue it on. I will get there, but I really enjoyed this one. It's not too creepy. So for me, it was just like the perfect amount of kind of creepiness and then of course we have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco another one that I actually enjoyed more than thought that I would considering it's a mystery thriller I do have the other two in the series I just need to get the fourth one physically um but yeah I really enjoyed Stalking Jack the Ripper and this cover is absolutely stunning I love it so much so, so yeah that's my other sci-fi slash mystery thriller shelf um, yeah, it's just kind of, obviously, it just carries on for my next slot. Yeah, it's not exactly how I want it to be. I kind of wanted the side series to be on their side, but it just wouldn't have fit everything I wanted on this shelf if I didn't, if I had them kind of facing sideways. So I'm happy with it for now. Okay, so here we have another mixture shelf. Just got some mystery thrillers, also some, like, adult slash historical fiction novels. And then the rest of the shelf is contemporary. Sorry, again, I can't show you the entire shelf in frame. So as you can see, um, I've got Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid displayed because it's one of my favourite books of all time. I love it. Originally, I wasn't the biggest fan of this cover, but it's actually grown on me. And I really love it. I love having it displayed. I didn't have it displayed for a little while and I was so upset. But now that I can fit it displayed and I'm so happy about it. So I've got The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, which I absolutely loved. I read this year and it is easily going to be like in my top favourites for the year. I actually pre-ordered the special edition that they did for this, so I can't wait for that to come in. Also, Circe by Madeline Miller. Also really enjoyed that one too. And of course, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, another one of my all-time favourites. I love this book. Unfortunately, I didn't love The Star Wars Sea as much, but I just loved The Night Circus. So moving on to the contemporary. So I've got You Should See Me in a Crown by Leo Johnson. While this wasn't a favourite, I wanted to highlight it because it was one that I enjoyed and the cover is absolutely stunning so I thought I wanted to show you like I said it wasn't a favorite but I did enjoy my time reading it. I've also got A Very Large Expanse of Sea and An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahara Mafi. Um, I read An Emotion of Great Delight this year. Absolutely, it's so good. It's not just while it is technically a contemporary novel even both of them not just An Emotion of Great Delight but both of them tackle really dark and heavy topics as well so highly recommend them but please be in the correct mindset especially for an emotion of great delight to read them but they are so good i also wanted to highlight loveless by alice oseman this one is the same um circumstance with you should see me in a crown this isn't a favorite but i did enjoy my time reading it and i wanted to highlight it because it has um a romantic and um asexual representation in it and while i know while i have been seeing on social media that there is more books coming out with that i still feel like there's not enough of that representation so i wanted to um highlight in case this is like the first time you're hearing about it or you need some recommendations um here's a recommendation for a a romantic asexual representation in a book so yes that's just kind of again another mixture shelf it's mainly contemporaries as you can see but i love this shelf mainly because daisy jones and the six is highlighted and it has some of my all-time favorites on it okay so this next shelf is a contemporary slash romance um shelf even though i literally have one romance novel on here but that's okay um so yes as you can see i have uh this stuffed dog on here so this was a christmas gift from my mum so 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 many years ago i can't even remember when i got it now um but what i do remember is that my mum got it for me because our other dog not the one we have now obviously but we had another dog and he passed away and we had him for so long and I wasn't really handling um, it very well because I just loved and adored him so much. Um, so she got me that teddy as kind of like not a replacement but kind of as something that I can kind of, you know, snuggle with and because I was quite young. So yeah, um, that was the point and she kind of just stays up there and just kind of chills on my bookshelves um so i also have all of angie thomas's books so the hate you give on the come up and concrete rose um i love angie thomas i think she is a phenomenal writer and i will read anything that she writes like 100 percent. i loved all of these books i thought that they were all great and all 
you know, had their merits, but in a separate way to each other. So yeah, I know the Concrete Rose comes before the Hate You Give, but it just like with the coloured spines, it just looks better <laughs> with the colour scheme that I had going on. So that's why I keep it that way. Um, And then the one romance novel I have, One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. So this is an adult romance novel. I honestly wasn't the biggest fan of it. It was a bit of a disappointment. I did read it recently, but I just wanted to highlight the single romance novel I have on here because I don't really read romance. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to highlight that. <laughs> that is the um, contemporary slash romance shelf. Okay, so here we have uh, what I like to call my TBR shelf. So I actually like keeping the books that I have to read separate to the ones that I've read. It just makes kind of more sense to me. I'll just point out some ones that I'm really excited to read. So Jade City by Fonda Lee I'm particularly excited for because I've heard nothing but great things about it. I did want to get the hardcover of it but for some reason the hardcover is really hard to find so I'm really excited for Jade City. Also The Kingdom of Copper, S.A. Chakraborty which is the second one in the City of Brass. Um, uh, what's it called? The Dave Bad Trilogy. That's what it's called. But it's the second one to City of Brass. Really excited for that one because I really enjoyed City of Brass. I'm just worried it's going to suffer from second book syndrome. Okay, so I have kind of... Oh, <laughs> it's falling. So I am excited for Realm Breaker because I've never read a Victoria Aveyard book. And sometimes you just need like a typical YA novel just to kind of, you know, you just you just kind of need those novels. Except the only problem is this one is really chunky. So it's going to take me a while to get through. But it's not just this. One of the other reasons that I got this, and I know this is probably going to seem really shallow to some people as to why I got it, but it's actually signed by Victoria Aveyard. I haven't met Victoria Aveyard um, when I brought it at the bookstore. It was signed. So, yeah, um, that's part of the reason why I got it as well. I know some people are like, oh, you only brought it because it's signed, but like... Where I live, we don't have really many popular authors that come, so the fact that I have a signed book by Victoria Aveyard is really exciting. Okay, the Diviners by Liver Bray. These are the new covers that they've come out with, and I've, I said in um, a weekly reading vlog, but I'll say it again. I don't actually hate these covers. I actually don't mind them. I don't think they're that bad. Like, like I said again, I'm a hardback snob, so I would have preferred the hardback, but I don't think you can find the hardbacks anymore, so I had to settle with the paperbacks, but the Diviners I'm really excited for. I know that it does have some supernatural elements involved in it. I'm really excited for the Diviners because I've heard nothing but great things about the Diviners. The last one that I'm particularly excited for is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Another one that I've heard nothing but great things about. It honestly sounds like everything I would love in a fantasy. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I hope it lives up to the hype. Those are all the books that I'm particularly excited for. I will kind of explain the story behind this one. So as you can see, this is actually a non-fiction novel. It's called Treasures from the Royal Archives. I don't know who the author is, um, but it was actually a birthday present for my grandfather um, for my birthday this year. He knows I enjoy reading, um, so he got me this. Now, it's not the typical type of book that I would read, but it's the thought that counts. You know, he put a lot of hard work and effort into it, and he really thought about what I would like and really put a lot of thought into the book. So whilst it's not something that I would particularly normally reach for or one that I would particularly read, I don't know if I'm ever going to read this. I keep it on my bookshelves more just for the memories and more for the, you know, thoughts that he put into it and the thought that he, you know, that I might enjoy it and that I might pick it up one day. So that's the main reason why I have this book on my bookshelves. I will never get rid of it. But yeah, that is my TBR shelf for you guys. Eventually, it won't be a TBR shelf because I'm running out of room on my bookshelf. So for the time being, this is just staying as my TBR shelf. Okay, so here is the last and final shelf on my bookshelf tour. As you can see, it's empty. There's no books in here because I don't have any books to put in here. Um, Sometimes... If my other shelf with my TBR books is full, then I'll carry it over to here. I don't mind that. I'm happy just keeping this an empty shelf, but we'll just see what happens when it fills up. I hope you guys enjoyed this 2021 bookshelf tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!